Hello, friends, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Beedoncraft. It has been a while since we've been on this glorious realm. I, I must say I've taken a little hiatus. But, uh, you know, we, we're back. Better than ever. As you can see here, we are at the glorious overlord Beedon's base. Just, uh, definitely not going through his legs. Definitely just admiring his build. I thought for today's episode, we'd get back into the swing of things by just going around and touring other people's base. Look, he has a nice little, uh, I was gonna say hedge maze, but it's more of a, more of a nice scenic leaf walkway out back. I think it is lovely. I don't know what that contraption over there is, but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. There's a little, I don't, is it a gazebo? Uh, let, let, let us take a look. What is this? Nice bell, uh, and a, uh, bottomless hole into water. That is lovely. Let us ring the bell. I love what you've done with your backyard, Bidon. It is very lovely. 10 out of 10 would uh, spend some time out here barbecuing some burgers. Let us take to the sky real quick and get an aerial view. It is a, um, it is a build from up top. Uh, he has cows on the roof. That's where that's where all the cows that spawn when I I knew they went somewhere. I just gonna press that button. It does nothing. What does this button do? Hmm. It uh. It, uh, so I'm just gonna unpress that and uh, walk away. I was never here. If it breaks, it it definitely wasn't me. I didn't touch any of your things. Time to go bug Ted now. Oh god, he has the, the world's longest nether tunnel. Hold on. Okay, it was a it was a long trip out here, but uh, it was definitely worth the trip. Are you ready? Are you ready to see what he's been working on out here? You ready? Big reveal time! Three, two, one. Oh, look at it! Shulker boxes. Oh, good, and a bed. Um, you know what? You made me walk all, all this way out here for nothing. So you know, you, in, enjoy respawning at spawn. I'm a I, I'm a I'm a good neighbor. Like State Farm, I'm always here. But yeah, a little bit of a letdown, Ted. Uh, ho hopefully you get the potion shop out this way. It'd be a lovely addition to the area. Yeah, he has grown some potatoes, so that's lovely. But uh, on, to, on to mess with another person's things. Our tour of the other members' area continues. We're at Joey C's place. Uh, apparently he's gonna move, though. He doesn't like it, so... Uh, you know, this, uh, this, this uh, footage may not be relevant in the future, but he has some uh, cows, some carrots, and a lovely... Uh, a modern shed, if you will. A mini micro home. That's a better word for it. But, uh, you know, I can't. He hasn't, he hasn't bugged me. I shouldn't move his bed. I'm not I'm not that low. I have standards. I, I'm just kidding. I, I don't. And en Enjoy respawning at spawn, good sir. It's nothing personal. I just... It must be done. I didn't do... I did nothing. Our next stop on our tour of destruction is, uh... Agent Kitty's house. You can see Gustavo the Turtle. That was originally mine, but uh, she kidnapped, or you know, borrowed, or you know, just brought to a better home. However you want to put it. But she has a nice little hobbit hole here. Very lovely, very lovely uh, color combination, and a nice barn with little hay bales and everything. That's uh, really went above and beyond, kind of making the rest of us look bad. But uh, you know, we won't, we won't say anything. Thanks, Oblama. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a name. Um, oh god, oh god, all the horses want my carrot. Run away. Retreat. Tactical. She has a lot of copper blocks just hanging out here on the on the ground, oxidizing. This lovely little, uh, I don't even know what it is, uh, uh building. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah, a nice fireplace there. I, I do like the fireplace. It feels very cozy in here. If I can get up these stairs, uh, and a nice bed. Love what she done. Added the chimney there. Nice little bit of realism. You gotta love it. 10 out of 10. Very, would, would stay overnight here. Uh, yeah, this, uh, I wasn't here already leaving signs. I, uh, um, yeah, I'm not a fraud. Uh, this is all uh, first take. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, uh, this, this bridge is lovely. Very nice. I, I don't know how she did that thing with the fences, how they go up and down. I'll have to ask her. Is, uh, that would be lovely railings on many builds. But yeah, I love what you done with the place, you kitty. Keep up the good work. I decided while I was in the area to check out our shopping cave. It's still barren, but, uh, I swear someday this cave is gonna be the the highlight of the world. It's gonna be filled with shops and 
It's gonna be lovely. I just hope someone else builds a shop first, as I, uh... It's so massive, I don't even know where to begin to start building my shop. Hopefully someone else builds so I can, uh... Plan mine around theirs. Piggyback off their hard work, if you will. But, uh, plenty of space. We could have a whole city down here. Now we get to the real highlight of the server, the spawn area. The mecca for Minecrafters, if you will. It is, uh, it's really come a long way since, since the beginning days. You can check out my first video where, uh, Joey C has, uh, longer in-depth videos of what the spawn looked like on day one, two, and three. But, uh, speaking of Joey C, you can, uh, see his bed from his roof, so that's not creepy. Just gonna ignore that, uh, my, my starter house there, Kitty's Cherry Blossom Tree she, uh, fixed for me. Nice little cave under there that connects, uh, the, under the lawn that connects mine and Ted's base. Ted starter house looking, not even a starter house starter uh, cylinder. I like it though, it's uh, out of the ordinary, it sticks out. Um, I see down here we have uh, the, well on the beach we have uh, Oh Look A Bee's starter house. I think it looks lovely on the beach I built. Definitely a good use of time and when you're starting off the game is to make a big pointless beach. But uh, you know, people are filling it up so that's good. Our starting farm area. Agent Kitty starter house, looking lovely with the dragon head out front. My small lush river that runs through spawn, uh, definitely not encroaching on anyone else's buildings. The aerial view's even better. You get a sense of how big that beach is that was not there at the beginning, I swear. But uh, yeah, yeah, the overlook I built to get down, up and down from the beach I made, uh, most of my builds revolve around uh, trying to give use to the previous build. It's like a never-ending cycle. Like that elevator that needed to be built to come down here. But uh, that's a look at Bee's house. Uh, gonna use a rocket since uh, it takes a while to walk across this beach. This new tower that wasn't here last time I was on, so I don't even know whose it is, what it is. But uh, I like the I like the warped and acacia wood. Good combination. Our uh, shipyard, of course. You know, every, every uh, port needs some shipyards. Very lovely. Uh, Spartan and Bidon, I think, were primarily responsible for this great naval uh, site. Spartan starter house right there. If I could just jump through his window. Again, not not creepy. I, I cannot. He has top proofed it. Um, Bidon's uh, Mesa Desert builds. I a lot of farms. And uh, Jay Johnzo, or just Johns, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he uh, turned this, what was once a mountain, into his uh, his starter house. He has a prison there, that's always lovely. Nice little view, a nice balcony, it's a... That's a big ship, that is a hey, big ship. But, um, <laughs> has a lot of scaffolding in his interior, I'm not sure I like how it affects the feng shui, but, uh, you know, he, uh, let, let us go up to the upper floor, see if he has a nice overview. Nice outlook over here, he does, it's lovely. Fly over here to the bridge I made so Bidon could get to his area across my, again, my not in, a, in the way lush river. Very out of the way. It doesn't impede anyone. Bidon's little uh, mesa, fake mesa, enchanted desert, whatever you want to call it. Looks, It looks lovely. We really turned this place from a desert shithole into, into something to be proud of. Into an even prettier looking shithole. Moments like this, I wish I could up my render distance more, but uh, it is, I love, I love the view. I think it's probably my most proud achievement, even though I, I did more harm than good on in the spawn, but uh, you know, the, the other people really, uh, really worked to make it look good around my mistakes. It's a very, very good community project we did. Should become a staple, starting village. Let's do it. We'll, we'll end the video at my cave that, uh, May or may not serve no practical purpose whatsoever. But I do be a cave, though. You gotta like that. But uh, thank you for joining me in this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll get back into building my area. But that's gonna do it. Uh, top side out. Okay, now I'm out. <laughs>